I love Destiny yeah, 2. I love this Almost... picture. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make a layout for Toast not being here, so I put like a little NA while he's gone. <laughs> Oh, you I burned was... Toast, no. You burned him! <laughs> no, he's not burned! <laughs> he's not here! <laughs> At first, when I was gonna do it, he looked like an unlockable character. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> first one, I, I made his shadow too dark, and he looked like he wasn't unlocked. <laughs> and I was like, no, I can't have it like that. We lost our save file. We have to get Toast back. We have to unlock it. Originally, I was going to put Bug over him, and then I'm like, that just looks mean. So, Bug is still just <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> How come I got to sit on the desk? Everybody else here got chairs. <laughs> Bro, because clearly the desktop. table isn't big enough <laughs> for all of us. Bug, Bug, you're not a main host. You're a guest star. You can't fit in. It's all right. You're the, you're the size of a Pikmin. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I will not stand this inequality. Bingo. I'm bringing this up with the discrimination board. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I love sure. that I, the discrimination board. There he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Real quick before we get started. Thank you for the Bug really said, trooper. Bug said, I want to see your manager, and Cam said, I am the manager. <laughs> no. Thank you for the 20, <laughs> you boy trooper, 46 months. God damn. Crazy, no really, Jeez. that's all I got. Yeah, like, that is crazy. Again, God thank damn. The, thank you for the $25, DJ. Yo, that Pokemon Direct is so sick, Zero. I love all the games we got. Hey, what do you mean? No, you, what do you mean, Game Freak has no games? <laughs> don't worry. No, we got Pokemon Sleep. No, don't don't worry. We're going to, we're, so we're going to start this. Instead of going in the order of when this stuff happened, I think it's smart to go in the order of, it's going to go in the backwards order. And by that, I mean going from the thing that had the least announcements <laughs> to, like, we'll start, well, the Nintendo Direct will be last. Because <laughs> I feel like we have to kind of go in an order here. So we're starting off with Pokemon. <laughs> Yay. We're off with the state of play. What? We're not starting with the state of play? No, because the Pokemon Direct was worse. <laughs> what? The Pokemon what Direct what? spent like like three I minutes talking it. about they're going to re-release the base set of Pokemon trading cards. Yeah, like what? <laughs> like, I do like, not care. It, why, why is this... Can anybody explain to me why this is even relatively a big deal? I, uh, I thought, because at first I, I thought it was a holographic Charizard. That's started. what I thought too. And I was like, oh shit, that's a holographic Charizard. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, that's a regular Charizard. That's what, that's what I was I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's, They're like, but that's not what really it is. It's a re-release of base set again. They did it again. They did it before with X and Y evolutions. And now they're doing it. They're doing it this especially right now. They're, it's just base set now. Why? They're, they're why, but, base set again. Why now? It's not Pokemon's like 40th anniversary or anything. It's like it Pokemon. It was Pokemon Day, bug. Bro, okay, Pokemon why, Day can go no, kill. Why, if, it was, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it was Pokemon Day, then why were the announcements so ass? <laughs> why don't they make? Why don't they make normal commercials? Can we talk about that? Like, why do they got these like these people lot. walking in with these like briefcases and shit? <laughs> these people look like they're about to either like they're, they're, these people look like they're part of like a, a Hitman multiplayer game. Like they're about to assassinate <laughs> fucking. They're about to kill us, bro. They fucking they look like they're about to kill everybody. So do they just stop selling the base set multi like, over and over? Okay, so so base set is like is like the 1997 set of cards right like it's the old 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 ones the first the first batch aren't there right? a bunch of those they are they were discontinued uh, obviously like when it comes to pokemon card sets they they are re they release them excuse me i keep picking me <clears throat> they release them and then that's the set right like they release yeah. the set and then that's the whole set so they released base set like in 19 whatever or fucking 96 or whatever it was the released base set, which was the first set of Pokemon cards ever, and then just kind of left it there, and then just kept releasing more sets of cards because, like, that's how it works. Yeah. So because, but because base set was the first and is the most elusive and rare, um, you know, cards to find, like, like sealed, like factory sealed, they're worth tons and tons of money. So people love to collect them. 
Um, I remember. I remember someone so that's mentioning why we're, they're re-releasing base set because okay. people love base set. Will this technically mm -hmm. make those base set cards not rare anymore? Then, if they're re-releasing, that's what I was saying. <laughs> no, it would. It would still make them rare because they were manufactured in, in that year. It'll say it on the card. Oh. Wait, oh yeah. Wait. It says it right at the what? bottom. You can see 2023 Pokemon on the fucking new yeah, ones. Yeah. That they're 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 not gonna be worth shit. Okay. Which ba which base set run do you got? <laughs> yeah. Bro, you got <laughs> Professor Oak. Like, 2020. 23 or professor Oak, like, 1992 <laughs> that, Char that charizard card that you always see that card's been re-released like six times mm. beautiful why don't they why didn't they like just make like a new set of pokemon cards that's like all of the pokemon but it, they're all drawn like the old classic style that's what that sounds like effort. evolutions i think they would like never effort. do that they would they, never. they already have the, they, they have these png saved already they're like yeah whatever <laughs> fucking the wizards <laughs> of the coast can do it for us also i feel like we should <laughs> feel like we should talk about the um creepy animatronic <laughs> elephant in the room <laughs> bro they they said a nice <laughs> thing about him. this <laughs> That's not that's not animatronic. That's the CG trailer yeah, for okay, Detective fine. Pikachu yeah. 2. I was like the, the creepy CG Pikachu in the room. What the fuck was this? It's not it's not CG. It's not CG. It is an animatronic. What the fuck? Why can no? That's how weird he is. Nobody knows what he is. <laughs> I, I can tell, I Nobody can, tell can he agree is. if he's, he's actually there. If he's not, he is. He is. I can tell. Because when you hear him go Pika, you hear it come from him, like it's like inside his body. It is actually, yeah, it, does, it does sound like disturbing. That is fair. But like, why it though? Sounded disturbing <laughs> enough. Why is he? Is this here? just like a permanent, permanent thing now? Does he always have a Pikachu with him? Yeah, like, I, so. I didn't I ask for this. I want it. I can't believe they just didn't <laughs> even pay it attention. Yeah, Chad. it was odd that there was no mention of it at all. Chad said he better appear in the FNAF movie. You <laughs> <laughs> better get this man. He better be in there. That Pikachu got four different sets of teeth in that motherfucker. <laughs> mm. He's disturbing. Oh my god. And then they talked about Netflix, some like Pokemon Netflix show. I mean, that was a really ugly show, and I hope that I, they, they, I never see it again. Pokemon Concierge. The Poke Psyduck like is cute. I like Psyduck. He looks fine. I like the style. It's claymation. No, I like Psyduck. I don't like the human being that appeared next to the Psyduck. Human. Yeah. <laughs> the human. Yeah. Let me clarify. I don't like the people. Yeah, he, he I don't like out. the people. Psyduck looked fine. <laughs> the people kind of look gross. <laughs> just they look got, like SP. characters in like a... Like a, a late era <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine movie. <laughs> the person SP. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Top Hat, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It looks like it looks like Coraline, but less charming. Like that's how the people look. Yeah, Coraline. <laughs> <laughs> Coraline, if the director had no talent, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I don't know, it was, it's like I don't like how the people look. Maybe that's just a rough sketch of the people, but I, I don't like the people. They his, look scary. His face, his face does look like an iPhone emote. <laughs> it does look like. So I got the Bitmoji. <laughs> I mean, at least the Pokemon look cute. So maybe, can, maybe the Pokemon can save it. I don't know. They just what give cute Pokemon. What's that subtitle up in the corner? I'm happy when you're happy. <laughs> what? I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? I'm happy when you're happy. Was there a song playing or something? Yeah, I don't think so. That, that, that's kind of disturbing. What? What? What, what is the implications there? <laughs> Now, now it feels like a, a teaser for like a horror game that like <laughs> a really <laughs> weird horror <laughs> game. I'm happy when you're happy. Oh, thank you, Psyduck. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, then, no, they, then they talked about Pokemon Unite. I don't really play this that much anymore, so I don't really have an opinion. Zashian looks broken, but I don't know. Uh, then they talked about their cafe remix like they always do. Again, they did do, they do the thing they do every single one of these. They talk about like Pokemon it. Unite, Cafe Remix, Pokemon Masters. Then that's it. Those three always. It's always those three. Every time. Well, hey, though. look on the bright side. They finally gave these Sword and Shield characters appealing character designs. <laughs> when fucking look, look at the look at the chat, look at, look at the Discord chat real quick. This is what, this is Psydux, Psydux ration when his trainer says, "I'm happy when you're happy." He's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, Psydux <laughs> face when like that fucking thing was. He looked disturbed. <laughs> 
Like, hold up. Did you really just happy? say that? Yeah, like, you, I'm happy when you're happy. He's just like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> so I, don't you, I don't think Sadek understands his trainer. He doesn't look like he understands anything. <laughs> doesn't look like he likes it. Doesn't sound like a happy relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time to finally I didn't talk know this about you. It's time to finally talk about the thing that only mattered here. Pokemon Sleep has finally woke up. Oh, my God. <laughs> it exists. Please. I love how it looks. I want it so bad. I, mean, I love I love that part. Dramatic. I love the it's I love the, the part in the direct app. <laughs> I love that part in the direct where they say this app is meant so that you can look forward to waking up in the morning and implying that nobody does. Nobody who <laughs> no, no <Pokemon laughs> enjoys waking up. I, I, I like that they said all you need to do is get a good night's sleep as if that's an easy thing to do. <laughs> all you need is a good night's sleep. Like, oh no, that's, that's hard. No. <laughs> what do you mean all I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the kind of functionality that like a Fitbit or something would have. Like an Apple Watch is like an app dedicated to sleeping. It's so strange. It's strange. There's so many of those. But at the same time, <laughs> I at the same time I trust that just because it's made by Game Freak. Because remember, they made the most accurate pedometer <laughs> for fucking Pokemon Heart <laughs> Gold. So they did. They're, they're are weirdly the really alarm. good with this type of thing. So maybe this is gonna be the most accurate sleep calendar or something. <laughs> Hey, everybody, all of us, and the people in chat, I'm going to need you to uh, let us know, what sleep type are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like are I'm slumbering, dozing? bro. <laughs> I, I'm slum. I, I'm actually not slumbering. I'm I'm dozing. No. Bro, I'm not ready. I'm you're, you're, I'm about to say, you're, I was about to say, Monica, you're snoozing. Do not even get me with dozing from you, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> you, are snoo you are snoozing. I'm slumbering, bro. <laughs> Out like a light. <laughs> Straight up slumbering. I'm slumbering. I know what Cam is. Cam is Cam is more than slumbering. He's, Bro, that's funny. I'm he, dead. He, he enters. He enters REM sleep like in <laughs> Cam also slumbering. <laughs> Cam has to be dozing because of how effortlessly he slides out of sleep too. He just like touch, like touches like cheek, and he like w oh, eyes open up. Hello, I have been awake this whole time. <laughs> All right, but I'm gonna need some confirmation here. So like, is one eyed sleep an actual thing? Do people actually it's, do yes, this? It, it yes. is a real, yes. th yeah. It's a thing animals do. So I guess Totodile does it. That's creepy. I don't like that. Um, that's I'm weird. Assuming, I, don't, I don't think they swap over like yeah, in this so animation. Like, I don't. Though. I don't think, because I see my dog do it it's sometimes, a, but they do not switch eyes. No. It's, this, a, it's, it's mostly a lizard thing when they have their eye wide open while they're sleeping. It's like a lizard well, lizards, thing. some lizards don't even have eyelids. Bad or like dog. they're like translucent. I think that's what it is. Yeah. A lot of lizards have translucent eyelids, so it doesn't look like they're closing them. But I don't think, I don't know why they had the eyes going back and forth. Like that was the weirdest thing to me. <laughs> I don't. I'm just sad that this is like the old, Pokemon Sleep really was the only announcement that was worthy made at this fucking thing. Like this is the only thing no, people no, were actually no. excited about. No, we got we got DLC. You're right. We got Pokemon Go Plus, no. where Pikachu will talk to you in your little like phone. Yeah, what the, I don't know what this is. It's like he talks it's a, to you. It's, it's, it's Pokemon Go Plus. Do you know what Pokemon Go Plus is? No. Okay, so Pokemon Go Plus is a little accessory that you attach to your, <clears throat> to, that you hook up to your, like, wirelessly to your Pokemon Go. And basically, when, so it'll, it like, basically has Pokemon Go open in the background of it the entire time. And if a Pokemon pops up, the little thing will make a noise or it'll glow and you press the button and it'll catch the Pokemon. This is basically just another version of it. Because it's called Pokemon Go Plus. It seems Plus. like oh, it's, I, I thought it was just called Pokemon Go. No, it is called Plus Plus. What the fuck is wrong with it? So is. that wasn't that wasn't. Uh, oh my lord! The original a weird marketing version thing. is the Pokemon Go Plus. The the newer version is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, and the Plus Plus version has Pikachu inside of it, and he can also connect to your Pokemon Sleep. It's it's like it's an it's an it's a thing for Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sleep to combine, basically. <laughs> All I read is chat. Zero, why does Game Freak hate us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, child. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> why oh. does Game Freak hate us? Why does Game Freak hate us? <laughs> I, 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 I wish what are you I talking knew. about? I Game Freak loves knew. us. They gave us Pokemon Sleep. Anyway, the last thing they talked about was Scarlet and Violet updates. 
They added two Terror Raid Pokemon. I thought this was it. <laughs> Is that the whole thing? No, no. They no. announced DLC as well, but it's not out. It's coming out in, like, fucking, what, fall, they said? Yeah, fall and winter. Yeah. So... It's not really coming out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Honestly, it's just Isle of Armor and fucking whatever the fuck fucking Sword and Shield got. It's just that again. Like, because yeah. they're That's even adding looked, in, yeah, they're, like. they're adding in Pokemon from previous generations back in as well, as well as some new Pokemon, which are only like, what, two? <laughs> so, it was, oh yeah, it's, I mean, looks fine. Uh, the one thing I will say is they refuse to make these children dress well. <laughs> <laughs> they hate these kids, bro. What are these clothes? I don't know what the Spanish did to Game Freak, but they clearly do not forgive them. They think they, 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 think they don't know how to dress. Like, what is the? Now, I will say this. Those are just the new uniform sets. The actual uniforms they wear in the DLC art, which I'm assuming they will wear when you go to these DLCs. <laughs> Those actually look pretty good. Like, there's, like, these, like, kimonos, I think, kind of, or, like, shorts. They don't look that bad. And then I think fine enough. the other one they wear on the boat looks okay. I don't remember what those are. There you go. Those are just white clothes, but I mean, they look decent. They just kind of look like the clothes you wear in fucking um, Sword and Shield's yeah. gym battles. But those look okay. But I'm also... So why was this not Legends DLC, by the way? Like, this literally looked like Legends the entire time. And then they were like, no, that's Scarlet and Violet. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it has that's the... Really weird. It has the whole, like, you know, the whole the whole design. The it has the whole, the whole maybe, thing. Maybe one, of, maybe one of the islands has the Celebi Shrine and, like, we can get Celebi or something. I don't think that's supposed to be the Celebi Shrine. It's supposed to be something else. Because that's, what? like, a but different... It, like it has a different d graving on it. Look, there shows, like, some weird Ugh. monster thing on the far left. What the fuck is that? What are these implications? What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's stealing children. <laughs> Triple Let's this look, go. This looks like a warning. No. Children, don't follow the creepy monster thing. It will take you away. It will take you away. You will die. Also, the, also they added Cam as a Pokemon. Huh? Sheesh. <laughs> the little middle purple guy, the blue oh purple guy. They added gosh. Cam as a Pokemon. I'm so happy, Cam, that you were finally represented. The Pokemon for you. <laughs> Representation matters. There you go. Diversity. Yeah. yeah, they showed this DLC, and that was it. Um, Game Freak was done. So uh, once again, I am apologizing to Sony <laughs> for saying that <laughs> they have a terrible. State of, they have that the fucking, worst uh, directs. That fucking, no, not true. that fucking monkey Pokemon looks like ass. It looks like but, shit. But can PlayStation get a full night's sleep, though? I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe with how little they announced. <laughs> maybe they can uh, get a full night's you're, you're gonna be on that Destiny 2 raid all, the, all night. No, <laughs> I don't want to. But Lightfall. I don't even know what that means. That's what it's called. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, uh, that's all Pokemon had to show. I just now realized that the little turtle Pokemon has all the the type icons on don't, its, on its don't, shell. Don't don't try to talk about more stuff that's interesting as if it's interesting. It's cute. <laughs> there is nothing else to talk about. Game Freak still doesn't know how to put on a fucking presentation. I don't know why. Why do they even feel the need to separate themselves from Nintendo Directs? They literally will go and be like, no, we're not going to announce any big Pokemon thing during a Nintendo Direct because we want to have our own presentation, and then proceed to announce nothing. <laughs> Why? It's a whole, a whole lot of Thinking good nothing. Psyduck. <laughs> Fuck Psyduck. <laughs> he sucks. Hi Psyduck. No. I don't like no. Psyduck. All right. So now, after they were done, now we gotta go on to the, the state of play. Sony was like, we want to announce things too, and they kind of did. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, they announced um, Suicide Squad. <laughs> The Suicide I thought that Squad game already existed. Oh yeah, it, do it did knew. exist. They showed more gameplay of it. There wasn't much gameplay. So they showed more gameplay of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> Why not? The Flash is in it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all anyone needs. No, I heard a lot of people were upset about the, um, I think it was the Battle Pass they didn't like. They didn't like the announcement of the Battle Pass. They uh, didn't like that, uh... I think it was like that they all use guns, I think it was, or something. 
I don't know. It looks fine to me. It looks like it could be fun with friends. Yeah, it looks fun. I, was like, I, mean, I don't know about like amazing, but it looks fun. Also, I could have swore they I, I could be mishearing. I don't know if I'm like mishearing what they said, but like again, I could have swore they said that they were only going to like like because people were upset that the battle pass stuff looked like they were gonna have to buy like things in order to continue the game. But I could have swore they said that the story mode is still there and that the battle pass and the other like contract stuff that they're adding was just like post game stuff. Hold on. Oh my god, Fortnite model. Save Fort the world is for, for save the world and battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn that's what it was. Hold up. I gotta see. They have a page on it. A deeper look. Uh, so much on the horizon. And, uh, exploring the city. One to four gameplay options and skill trees. Play how you want. Captain Boomerang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Still don't know why that's a name for a character. <laughs> One of the D one of DC's most popular characters is Batman. So well, Captain Boomerang, Batman. Superman, oh, no Spider Man. No oh. chat. There is single player. It says one to two four player gameplay options. They literally said you can play by yourself. Bro, yeah, you can do the single new, player. Yeah. This is the new Left 4 Dead series. <laughs> I forgot what the gameplay looked like. Honestly. <laughs> Just it was left for dead with movement. I don't know. I think the game looked fine. I, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be like a amazing game, but it looks like it's a fun game to play with friends. Yeah. Also, why do I have to enter my date of birth to use Sony's website? What is this? That's what I was saying. What the <laughs> fuck? Sony be out here. Just, just to look at a YouTube video. Thanks, Sony. <laughs> yeah, I was like the game looked interesting enough. It didn't look terrible or anything. But yeah, that was like the main thing. Uh, but they showed other stuff too. They showed um, Tichia, a game that I'm pretty sure. But I think they've been showing this game like for so long. This is like that w the game. I think the Wind Waker game. It is. This is uh... Yeah, this was that fucking Wind Waker game, which was like they kept they showed this game like constantly for so long. Is it finally coming out? <laughs> Yeah, it's March the one where 21st. the girl can transform into other animals. And I was like, oh, oh that... well, it's kind of soon. I was at least I think it was. Wait, hold up. Am I wrong? <laughs> or is this just another I... game that has to happen? No, she turns into animals. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, that was, yeah, it was this game. Like, the... played the show before. Yeah, now it finally has a release date. I think it's finally coming out in March. So this game's finally coming out, so that's cool. Finally getting this. It looks interesting. Looks cute. Uh, humanity. <laughs> I only caught the second half of this. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I was just a dog. <laughs> yeah, you're just like you're a dog, like just leading a bunch of people like they're Pikmin. It's giant Pikmin. <laughs> oh my Finally, god! Finally, a game for me. <laughs> a PlayStation game for Bug. <laughs> what even is this game? It's Pikmin. Is it just a weird puzzle game? Yes, it is. It is Pikmin. I'm telling you, you like you lead the people. They're like, oh, boom, boom, boom. yo, why are they, they have guns? Like. Well, who are they shooting people? Yeah, then there's like enemies. Like that was the part that got me interested when they showed the others. That's what they're called. These are the others. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh my. And then they all started <laughs> fighting. And I'm like, oh, they're killing each other. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. The others all gotta wear black shirts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I shit, see what they're trying to say. This shit, this shit looks actually kind of cool. I don't know. Like, they all start fighting in like a fucking lightsaber battle. This looks like a mix between like uh, like, uh tabs and ground. Mario versus Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it, I know somebody said they were like, it looks like a tech demo, and it's like. It does, but it looks fun. <laughs> it looks yeah, like I mean, it, fun it, it looks like it looks fun regardless. <laughs> Mario 128 like if this. it was good. Mario 128 if it was an actual game. <laughs> I was like, oh no, this game looked interesting. So I'm curious to see where that goes. Uh, they showed more Resident Evil 4 gameplay because once again, Capcom had to show up to save Sony's ass because they were just, you know, <laughs> not doing well. It looks like they actually might be changing some story beats in this one. Because, like, I don't know. It's been a while since I played Resi 4. But, like, I don't remember actually getting infected. <laughs> what the hell? 
Oh, like, it's been a while since I've touched Resident Evil 4. But I don't remember that part. <laughs> so, I don't remember this part. Or this part. <laughs> I don't think you played Resident Evil 4. <laughs> don't, I get no. like they're pulling a Final Fantasy 7 remake and changing the story. No, she did? Okay, so she did, so they're not pulling a Final Fantasy 7 remake. Thank God. But... <laughs> What? I was gonna say, everyone chat's telling me that they did, so I'm like, okay, so that is normal. Okay, so then it's been a while since I played Resident Evil. Oh, okay. So I just want to make sure the stuff is remembered. So they're not pulling a Final Fantasy VII. This is the co op one, right? No, that's Resident Evil 5. Oh, this, god damn. This, 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 <laughs> this is the one that, that basically became the groundwork for Resident Evil 5 and 6 when they were like, let's just make it action oriented <laughs> and stop nice. making it scary. And then it was like, oh. <laughs> the people hated us. Oh. So, yeah. And then Resident Evil 8 came along and they introduced a baby, and then we were like, okay, it's yeah. scary again. As well as like, Resident Evil 7 was pretty scary too. <laughs> So, yeah, fucking, so Resident Evil 7 looks interesting. Yeah, for those who played the original, you might recognize some of the scenes. Drama, action, new gameplay. <laughs> you no might recognize this game if you played this game. <laughs> you might recognize this game if you played it before. Whoa. <laughs> and then they announced that the Mercenaries really? is coming out. Honestly, and then they announced there's going to be a special demo coming soon. Basically, game looks fun. It looks like Resident Evil 4, but now the graphics are really updated. So, yeah. It's nice. Looks like a nice, fun game. Uh, Street Fighter announced, uh, you know, uh, horny. <laughs> oh. Is this where the girl stretching yeah. comes from? This is where the girl stretching comes from. They announced Zangief, Lily, and Cammy. I think Lily's new. Zangief and Cammy are definitely our old characters. <laughs> but yeah. They yes. introduced. They introduced steel bait. Guys. Apparently, they oh both got pants this time. Yeah, you're, you're right. They introduced a lot of horny Monica. They introduced Zangief. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's the guy from Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not a bad guy, Bug. You're just bad guy. Bad guy. Yeah. He has pants now. That is true. Zangief is now wearing pants. He is not wearing a speedo anymore. That is very. I'm so happy for Both him. Both him and Cammy are uh, wearing pants. Oh, true. That's, yeah. That's the... Cammy's actually not just showing her bare fucking thighs. <laughs> People are going to be upset about this. <laughs> My she's wearing fury yoga will pants be... Be... And there it is. <laughs> I just found There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there is her. There, there, there's the pose. I don't think that's how people stretch, Cammy. <laughs> 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 I think there are better ways to stretch. You're supposed to touch your toes, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> You're gonna destroy. Who's this old guy? She's being. <laughs> he's a new character. <laughs> now he's dying. <laughs> no. Cammy beats up old people. That's what we learned from she this. British. She. I, oh yeah, she is British. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> the shows the fucking uh, the fucking flag on the back of her fucking jacket. She, Japanese characters designing foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Bogart. <laughs> this, he this likes is, hamburger. This is like fucking Blizzard designing any like Asian character. Like they've got to include ninjas they, or something. They, like they have to climb the wall. They have oh, to climb the wall. Of course. I just Video games have taught me that while while the Asians might be able to climb walls, trans people still win because they can double jump. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been taught by indie games. Fucking, yeah. I don't know, I still can't get over the fact that, like, Terry Bogart is how Japanese people see America. Like, he just says random phrases like, come on, <laughs> and are you okay? <laughs> and he likes hamburgers and fries. Oh, fuck. I wear I red because I am American. Fries. And he wears <laughs> trucker hat. <laughs> but trucker hat's the best part. Oh, yeah, I just realized his clothes are blue, red, and white. Yes. Oh, Terry Bogart is American, Monica. His name's Terry. Are you sure okay? Is. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is a pretty big game. This apparently came out only on the Stadia, if I remember correctly. For the longest time, this was a Stadia exclusive. And this was like I can't believe that they were able to do that without going bankrupt. Yeah, this was a, <laughs> this was like a long-awaited sequel for people, and they made it release on Stadia. <laughs> so, but now it's finally coming to actual consoles. So, you know, that's cool. Google Stadia was a failure, right? 
Yeah, hold up. I gotta make sure. It was Baldur's Gate 3, all right? Or am I misremembering? Was it another game that got screwed over by being on the Stadia? Oh, was it not Baldur's Gate 3? I swear there was a game that was a 3, and it was on Stadia. No, Baldur's Gate 3 has not come out at all yet. What game was it? Oh, I'm getting confused then. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 is just new then. There you go. <laughs> oh, what game uh... was it? It wasn't Persona 3. It wasn't Borderlands. It was another game that was on Stadia and only on Stadia. Oh my GTA god. GTA 3. What was it? Stadia 3. <laughs> I know. It was Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 3. <laughs> was it not Baldur's Gate? Stadia is Wait, dead. What? Yeah, no, it was Dark Baldur's Siders Gate. 3? No, wait, no, it was Baldur's Gate. Dog it. Its initial release date was August 2009. No, but look, Baldur's yeah, Gate 3. How was the Stadia port? Yeah, no, it was Baldur's Gate. I was right. Maybe there's not the best day to talk about <laughs> Baldur's so Gate bad. 3 on the Stadia. It's so bad. The Stadia is so, like, underused that Google thinks that the game isn't out yet. <laughs> Nobody knows. Google doesn't, even, yeah, Google doesn't even comprehend. They were like, oh what? my what god. Mean? The game comes out in August. I'm like, wait, what? No, it wasn't Baldur's Gate. <laughs> they fucking gaslit me. I, oh my god. Yeah, I just got fucking gaslit by like, Google. No, I, like, I swear this was a game. I'm like, I swear it was Baldur's Gate 3. I'm not getting this wrong. Oh, okay. So a partial version of the game was released in early access for Windows, Mac, and Stadia. That's what it was. Early access uh, okay. of the game was on. Okay. Okay. So now th this is the, this is the full out. game. The full game is now out. <laughs> it's not going to only be on Stadia. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> well, happy for those people. I don't think any of us really have much to say about Baldur's Gate. I don't think we really played no. it. It's a fantasy game made by uh, Bioware. Bio are we correct in that? Oh, uh... no, no, it's Larian. <laughs> uh, they made such classics such as Divinity. <laughs> the hell is Divinity? I don't know. It's the other game that is I don't play. Is this entire trailer just just J.K. Simmons voice acting it? Maybe. It's only like a minute long. Yeah, I think it is. It's just being like, look, guys, Baldur Gates Gate's coming out. <laughs> like a me voice. JK Sims. Fair enough, I guess. Congrats. I can't believe they got players. Your cult classic. JR Everyone <laughs> says chat. <laughs> uh, then they showed a game called Wayfinder. Um, It, it sure was a Wayfinder. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of looked like a generic shooting game. A generic shooting emo- Oh wait! This was that's the like, game that looked like, like it was lagging! Hold oh, on, I have to see if it's <laughs> on the screen now. This was the game that looked like it was- Yeah, this was- That looks like it's lagging. This was the game that like, in combat, it looked like the FPS was low, but now that I'm looking at it, I think that's just the combat. It is just that slow. I thought this was a- <laughs> A game with swords and stuff. Why is there guns now? I'm just confused. Yeah, this is, this, that's just how slow the combat is. I thought it was losing FPS. It does look like it's moving in like 75%. It's like a snail's <laughs> pace. This looks like a PS2 game. Like a really good looking PS2 game. <laughs> yeah, this does not look that good. Um, Then there was Goodbye Volcano High. Let's go, Monica's favorite game. This just looks like uh, a game about di it's a game about dinosaurs as people d d high school life. I don't know. Like, I don't. Oh no, I've seen that game. It doesn't. Mm. Oh my god, oh, life, like, is strange strange life is strange for the It's life is strange. It's actually is all this is for animals. That's all it is. But I guess yeah, the no. point is they're supposed to be dinosaurs, so they go to volcano high. Get it? Because dinosaurs. Well, they, they didn't die to a volcano. <laughs> so, no, they didn't. I don't know what the point the volcano, of this is, actually. I mean, they lived, they lived amongst the volcanoes, I guess. I guess, but we live amongst volcanoes, too. You don't see us calling our school's volcano high. <laughs> okay, all right, but, like, what, name last time you saw a volcano. I can Yesterday. ask the lions. <laughs> the game You're also had, like, lion. quick time events randomly happen. I thought it was funny. They're just like randomly having quick time events, and I was like, Did in the middle of the cutscenes. Yeah, so I was like, do those actually happen in the game, or they're just quick time events? <laughs> like, oh god! Is, there, is this like those like early like movie to uh, video game 
like fucking ports that are like you have to do quick time events while the movie plays in the background <laughs> or they're gonna be like animated failure scenes like i fucked up i fucked up now he now the now the bird with the cigarette what is this i don't know what he's supposed to be He's a pterodactyl. A tera he doesn't have it's, wings! It's not, it's not pronounced patera! <laughs> pterodactyl. He, he doesn't have wings! That's a, tri that's a triceratops. That's See, okay, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for him to lift his hands up and then you'll see him. He has a tail! Yeah. The, 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 the pterodactyls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these are animals. Whatever, they showed that. Uh, then they showed a bunch of VR games that just were not interesting to me. I'm sorry, I'm skipping these. The Hogland, Green Hell, Synapse. They did not look that interesting, I'm sorry. The only one that looked Journey interesting was the one that isn't a PlayStation exclusive was already on PC. <laughs> the game already exists. Yeah, which was before your eyes. That was the only VR game that looked interesting, and that one was already out. <laughs> So that was why it was it was interesting. <laughs> like so, yeah, that's the one where you close your eyes and then like continues through time. Like it continues through time. Yes, you have to try to keep your eyes open as long as possible to see the entire event around you. Yeah. Oh my god. Does what? Does VR track that? Yeah, what? it tracks your eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. you play, it tracks when you close your eyes. I actually did not know that. Okay. <laughs> cool. so, honestly, something horror games should use. The game should pause if you close your eyes. <laughs> You're oh not looking. If horror, <laughs> if horror games did, You're I would. You're not wouldn't. looking. <laughs> or like you, you, you blink and then something happens. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the fucking yeah, yeah, sure, happens as soon as you blink. As soon as you blink, yeah, mm -hmm. they move every time. Hello, bro. Fucking finally, it's SCP. Like, like a, make make like a Weeping Angels game or something. Uh, where like they, every time you blink, they move. What well, that old oh, SCP game where you fucking now it's real. Being a mechanic, and now it's yeah. literally you blinking, and he moves. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, he's coming. Brought to a new level. We're getting too advanced. We're getting too advanced. Hey, I don't know. Like, his uh, uh, vision of Silent Hills is finally coming true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, guys, because the only game that mattered was announced: Naruto Ninja Storm Connections. <laughs> no. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, it, Man, I sure do love Naruto. <laughs> it's just Ninja. I think it's just every single Ninja Storm game on one disc with two added characters. I think they said. Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, what Boruto. is What is officially being added here? All right. So the second half of the trailer features battle scenes of the playable characters. The largest roster out of all the series. Uh, to celebrate, have fans supported the series. The, the, the game will contain additional new characters on top of the 124. They only showed, like, two. <laughs> Happy to reveal the first additional that will be a part of that roster. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ashura and Indura. Who? So, so I'm assuming, I think they're from Boruto. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't fully remember Ashura. Is he from Boruto? Is Boruto in this game? Yeah, he was in the, the DLC. Oh. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait no, wait. Do I remember Ashura? No, he wasn't. No, Shippuden. Naruto spoilers. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Why don't I who? remember him? Ashura. Oh wait, he's the fucking. Yeah, he's in the flashback. He's the fucking. He's the. He's the ancestor guy. Isn't yeah, he's he? the ancestor. He's yeah, only in the flashback. Yeah. There, there, I was like, why can't they? All right, him and Indra. They're the. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad that. That's cool they added him. Also, 60 FPS. <laughs> you can play Ninja Storm in 60 FPS. So that's pretty cool. Ooh. That, that's probably gonna look nice. But yeah. So all these characters. Damn. Yeah, God like, damn. I mean. I mean, I guess it works. I guess fucking, oh no, it just, to me, it just looks like <laughs> they made the Demon Slayer game, didn't sell as well as Ninja Storm, so they were like, we're just gonna go back to Ninja Storm without me. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna. I mean, I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm fine with it. Ninja Storm is like one of the best anime games, so. Yeah. <laughs> It works. So which one? Which one's the one that goes fourth gear? Is that that's Sasuke? Oh <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> you know what you're doing. No, 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 no. Hold on. This is the one with the senzu beans. That's right. <laughs> this is the one with Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> oh, I hope Shenron shows up. He's beans. my favorite. I just realized we said we were we we just realized we said we were gonna save destiny for toast, but then I also oh no, I, I skipped it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that was at the very beginning. 
Why Hi, I mean, Destiny. Well, I mean, if Toast shows up, then he could talk about Destiny, because none of us, I don't think, have anything to say about Destiny. Yeah. It's a... Mamorpiga. <laughs> the only thing I know about this what? specific Lightfall is from other people who were into it, and they were saying it's... Uh, they are doing a much more story-based stuff, or a lot more story-based than uh, some of the other DLCs. I don't know. I don't know what that entails. I don't care. I just, I just, I just know that's uh, this has a, apparently more story based than some of the other ones. Wow, it's Destiny like, Two. <laughs> Destiny Two. So I'm like, it came out today, and funnily enough, yeah, it's Destiny Two, according to chat. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is Destiny Two. So. That's cool. <laughs> but before we continue on to the next topic, let me thank the donations. DJ gave a dollar. The reason Suicide Squad thing is bad because it's pay to win like the last game and the characters are barely different and the single player is locked online. No, DJ, single player is not locked online. No. <laughs> also, well, also, pay to win. It's not even, you don't verse anything. It's a fucking, <laughs> it's versus, a it's like versus AI. So, PVE. Yeah, it was, it's PVE, so it's it can't really be pay to win if you're not really. There's no PVP. <laughs> they also said the battle pass was only going to be cosmetics, so I feel like it's not that. This donation either. has a lot of uh, misinformation in it. <laughs> Nobody knows anything about this game. <laughs> you have to use your online to play. Okay, so that's what you. Then you have to say you need online to play single player. <laughs> That's what you meant. You need a Wi-Fi connection what? to play single player. That's like how that's most stupid. games are nowadays. Oh, you gotta a have a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, there's, there's some games. I don't defend it, but I mean, it is shitty. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, damn, that sucks. I don't know. I Everyone was gonna play with friends anyway, so I mean... <laughs> Soul says there's PvP. I don't remember seeing anything with... There is PvP. PvP. I, was say, I didn't see any. They didn't show it off. They just showed off the PVE, and I'm not. I'm not really oh buying it the PvP. <laughs> it is Left for Dead. The infected are, are the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are. I'm Batman. I'm, I'm also interested in the story since it's a continuation of Arkham story. So I kind of want to see what happens with that. I don't even. The things they even mentioning PvP though. Granted, I'm using an article, so I can't really. <laughs> But this is Sony's article, <laughs> so yeah, it says four-player co-op gameplay. I don't, I don't think there's PVP in this game. <laughs> At least just... all that they showed in the first trailer was just PVE. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, they didn't show any PVP. <laughs> You're using the wrong. One. How are we? How are we using the wrong one? That's on the Sony. website. <laughs> Eric, I'm going to the <laughs> website. The Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League website. We are here if on it, the website. If it's different, that's Sony's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Frequently asked questions. There we go. Who is publishing? What PC platforms? When will it release? Which playable characters will be featured? Who is the voice talent? Does it offer no a feature an original this. story? <laughs> Wait, what are these questions? <laughs> these questions are kind of... I don't think these are frequently asked questions. <laughs> these are not, these are frequently, not asked. frequently asked. Uh, is the full game solo and co-op? Yes, the full game can be added solo or up to four players in online co-op. As support local co-op. Co-op mode will only be available with an online with the internet connection. The game will not support local co-op. Uh, there's more okay. cross-platform play. Oh shit, it has cross-platform. That's, oh, that's, that's cool, that's cross-play. Whoa. Is it, okay, here it is, an internet connection is required to play. Solo or via online co-op. There it is. That is required. However, you don't need a PlayStation Plus subscription, so that's cool. Uh, What will the frame rate be? It will be 60 FPS. There you go. 60 uh will it have new will new content available post launch we'll have post launch content to expand the story with new missions and earnable characters available at no cost okay so it's all going to be free post launch updates uh we'll have a battle pass will be cosmetic only to earn new outfits emotes and other items to customize playable characters each battle pass will have free tiers available at no cost to all suicide squad justice league players all our premium tiers that will be available via an optional in-game purchase all battle pass teams will be cosmetic and will not affect gameplay in any way and then it can't be free to win if it's all cosmetic chat 
Fortnite is free to win those bastards. They're hiding <laughs> the from me. They can't be paid to win if literally, like I thought, yeah, it's like every part cosmetics. of the battle pass is cosmetic. Well, it's in-game purchases. We'll have cosmetic items available for in-game purchases. We use the customized player character. Each cosmetic only battle pass will also cream materials will be available. All in-game purchases will be completely optional and not affect <laughs> gameplay in any way. What have loot boxes? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just uh, no in bold text. Yeah, it's, it's like, there's no loot boxes. They also didn't mention anything about a PvP mode. I don't think there's PvP, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what even would the PvP That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm also confused. What the fuck would the PvP even be? <laughs> At that point, it's just deathmatch. Like, COD deathmatch. Yeah, I was like, I don't think there's PvP. Provide anyway. your source. Thank you <laughs> for the 100, 100 bit Shadow Rose. So, now to go on to Nintendo. <laughs> I Tinder. So I think overall this direct was I think I liked it if I recall. It had some decent announcements I think if I if I if I remember correctly. I, I think a lot of people got their hopes up expecting like giant amazing stuff, but I think what we got was pretty okay. I think we actually got more than what I thought we were going to get. <laughs> yeah, I'm scrolling through and this one was yeah, I go through. I go into Nintendo Directs with criminally low expectations yeah, I, every time. Yeah, I, I, I think the only time I go in with high expectations is the E3 ones. Like, but those oh, don't yeah. even exist anymore. Well, Once the ones in July, the... that's typically what I... Because that's typically their E3 one. But yeah, so they started off with Pikmin 4. Some more Pikmin 4 gameplay. <laughs> the only, only Pikmin 4 gameplay. We haven't seen any gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean we haven't seen any gameplay? We saw pictures. That's not gameplay. That's I know. I, that's why shot. I said I said we start off with Pikmin 4 gameplay. No, you said more gameplay. Like oh, we were I, getting I more info. This more. is the first bit of info I meant, no, we've I meant seen we about see this some game. Pikmin 4 gameplay. Yeah. Red Pikmin is confirmed to be in the game. <laughs> Holy shit, he's <laughs> back. Holy Red I mean, one thing I will say, the graphics look actually really good on the second game. Yo, they got pellet posies in this game. <laughs> <laughs> this game actually looks really fucking nice looking. Like the Pikmin. Half of Pikmin's appeal is the aesthetic of Pikmin. Is just how pretty everything is. Also, the camera looks like I don't know if the camera looks different because the Pikmin look bigger. <laughs> yeah, they they drop the camera down behind your shoulder. Yeah. It used to be more upper. You're, the pit, you're I closer. don't know why. I hope you can change it of, still. Yeah, I'm gonna say I, I liked it more. Having the top-down perspective uh, that they let you have in other games is really useful with, like... Well, I guess it's not really helpful anymore, since you can... Seems you can lock on to things now. The bug, they introduced the Ice Pikmin. He slides on his butt. He's... Cute. He's cute! He's cute. He freezes, he freezes the enemies! He's the Rock Pikmin again, which makes me think the Rock Pikmin aren't going to be part of the main game. They just like replacing the extra Pikmin every single time. Oh, they can freeze the water. Oh, that's cool. They can, like, freeze the water and then you yeah. can run across they it. They can't leave with you, though. So if you want the water for <laughs> no! them, you there. <laughs> you have to leave them to die! <laughs> Ice Pikmin. Oh, oh wow. Then they, yeah, announced, they stuck in the water. then they announced the dog. The best part. Bug hates the <laughs> dog. I hate the dog. I, he he looks so ugly. I hate He's him. He's the so best much. part. He's not even ugly. He's he doesn't hate. look like he belongs in the picture. He one hundred percent does not look like he belongs <laughs> he, here. I will say. He does look odd. He, oh, he, he looks like he looks like he belongs in like the Mario series. This is yeah. not. Yeah. I don't understand. So, so he can so he can move stuff too. I guess. Yes, he's like yeah. a, a giant a separate. He's like he's like a purple Pikmin, but better. It seems because he has the weight what? carrying There's capacity. There's nothing of better than the fucking look purple Pikmin. Look at them dance on him. They're like, yay! They like him. His eyes are. I kinda... like you. He's all, ugly. Also, you so can use. Oh, you can use him to ride in water. Yeah. That's cute. I like him. Also, speaking of which, being a purple Pikmin, I haven't seen the purple Pikmin. Is he not in this game? No, they're in the promo art. Well, then they should be in the so... game. So. I assume they're in, like, at most, the bonus modes, like they were in 3. Hopefully. Because in, well, in 3, there was also. only, like, there was only the rock flying and three main ones in the main game, and then white and purple were bonus, and then the Bulbmen were dead. The Bulbmen were dead. 
Also, think about they said multiplayer. The fuck is they? I think they also said there was gonna be like weird multiplayer. It looked like showing a bunch of different captains. It's like four of them. <laughs> yeah, they always increase the captain count. Yeah, so now there's four. I think there's gonna be multiplayer, or you're just gonna be able to switch between them. I guess. Or like, they, yeah, or, like or those guys just games. do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they could also just be NPCs and it's back to single player. Uh, or they just stand there and do nothing. That's also ultimately an option. Uh, then they announced that the Blood Moon was going to be rising. The Blood Moon, the yeah. Blood Moon is rising. <laughs> uh, Bulborbs is going to attack people, so that's that's great. Bulborbs a monster. You you don't understand how big this is. You never get to play at night in Pikmin. Oh yeah, you what? don't. You because you leave. Mm. Yeah, you Morgan leave at night time. That's why it was. That's why it's like a big climactic reveal. It's like, whoa! It's the part of the game. That, that's why in Olimar's final smash, he goes into the sky, and then everybody gets attacked <laughs> at night because you were not. You yeah, didn't escape you gotta at go. nighttime. You they were playing attacks. Pikmin Four, but they didn't know how to play it yet. <laughs> uh, then they talked about Xenoblade Chronicles Three DLC. I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, so I have no opinion of this. <laughs> it sure is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. They showed Shulk again. <laughs> they, they, Rex. They, they really like shoving Shulk in the Xenoblade DLC. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like they, they, they just keep shoving him into every... Like, he was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. Now he's in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. <laughs> yeah, he's here for yeah, some reason. They, they, they're they going to keep finding a way to shove him in everything. Uh, that Samba de Amigo and... came back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Samba de Amigo. Oh, alive. yeah. Samba de Amigo no exists somehow. <laughs> I, I guess Sega remembered him, too. So that's weird. Uh, he, he's got what a even game. What is his name? Is it Samba? I think it's Sai. I think it's Samba de Amigo. Is that his name? Like, literally, his name is Samba de Amigo? Uh, yes. <laughs> his name is Samba. Which is kind of racist, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of rude. Whatever. You just a banana. It's, it's it's a rhythm game. I don't know what else to say. Samba de Amigos here. Yeah, it, it just dance, but better. Yeah, they got this game called Fashion Dreamer. I don't. I'm pretty sure this was a 3DS game. It's a 3DS game. <laughs> yeah, yeah these are definitely like 3DS games, DS games, that kind of thing. All I'm saying thing. is they're porting over this. We ain't porting Kid Icarus. Okay, I see where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see where the I focus see where your lies. lies. Yeah. Again. Oh man, they had a better photo mode than all of the Pokemon games. They did actually. Oh my that God. was sad. Uh, Dead Cells returned. We got the gameplay of the Dead oh, whoa, Cells. Oh, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back to fan fashion, fashion, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> go back. I, sh I sh keep going. Hold on. Keep going back. Uh. Where was I saw something? What did you see? So I could go. Uh, so I could go there specifically. It was like, oh my god, there it is, the, 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 right there. That part right there. That is more customization than all of the Pokemon oh. games also oh, have. <laughs> it is. Well, okay, but in the defense, this is a fashion game. This is the whole point of a game. There, I want you to yeah. Google right now Pokemon Company annual profits. <laughs> I'm not trying to defend them. I'm just saying he's why right, this. He's right. I'm just saying why this game has this. They, they, they have less now. X and Y yeah, have like the I don't most know why forever. they have less. I'm just saying this game has it because that's the focus. But yes, though it is sad that Pokemon they're has less. Like, they're getting tired none. of us. They're like, you guys want customization again? <laughs> yeah, I don't We're know tired why. of this. We only this was only a gimmick for one game, guys. Yeah, because there's anything the French are known for. It's their fashion design. <laughs> of course. Uh, we got to see gameplay of the Dead Cells expansion, Return to Castlevania. I like that you get little you get little Castlevania weapons. It's cool. Yeah, uh, you get little. They got the character. They got Richter uh, and fucking Alucard. And then they show and you fight Dracula, and he's all like, "What is a man but a miserable pile of secrets?" <laughs> The Reaper. I mean, well, we don't know if he says that, but he better say it because he, he does the thing. He even throws the goblet, so he has to. Have he's got to say it. Yeah, he's got to say the thing. But yeah, the game looks fun. It's just Dead Cells, but Castlevania, and it looks cool. I like it. It's really smart. It would be crossover. really cool. What? If they made a Castlevania game again. <laughs> it would be cool. <laughs> I, I, if anything, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm happy that Castlevania's getting something that isn't from Konami. Because <laughs> Konami clearly doesn't care enough. <laughs> So. Last Castlevania thing they made was like that pachinko machine, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, Tron got a game? Because... It's like a visual novel? I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was weird. They, they didn't even, like... They, they didn't even, like, give it, like, a full-on, like, announcement thing. It just, like, showed up. It was like, oh, okay. And it left. <laughs> Ghost Trick is like, alive! They're 20 years too late for a Tron game. <laughs> they're also 20 years too late for Ghost Trick to be brought back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Trick is, is, is exists again. Everybody remember Ghost I Trick? Know... No, I I didn't know this game existed until my friend told me about it very excitedly. <laughs> I I just remember the, how the main character looked. I literally have never played. Yeah, I, this game. I know him. Yeah, I just know him. Well, that's interesting. It looks silly. It's a silly game. That's alive. Um, there's a game called Deca Police. Uh, uh, we thought it was Danganronpa at first. Yeah, that was Danganronpa. It was then learned that it was. I, it's I, Danganronpa Persona. Yeah, it's Danganronpa and Persona and Professor Layton, maybe? Because you have to solve a puzzle. And then they just yes. randomly introduced RPG mechanics. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, it's all about solving a puzzle. And then they're like, tactical operations. I'm like, what? Whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Whoa. What why do you mean? Why Come is he shooting robot? people? Or you gotta have the freaking police's baton. <laughs> This supposed to take place in America. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they turn into animals for some reason. Oh, yeah, they do. It was like someone must have replaced the data. And then he's like a... Uh, what then he's, data? Then he's, then he's a fox. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened here. Uh, Went into the metaverse. I mean, the fox. This is what VR chat is. He becomes a cat. So that's it's weird. Uh, that game was interesting. Oh, they showed more of that Bayonetta Origins game. That looked cute. Oh, yeah, that's... Also a game that's existing. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cute for the people who want to play that. I don't think it's made for Bayonetta fans because this gameplay is not. It ain't Bayonetta. It's very <laughs> different. It's a yeah. whole different game. I was like, this is looking like fans of fucking what was that? What was that Shadow of Colossus game? The sequel. Last the last, Guardian. last Guardian. Yeah, people were fans of that game because <laughs> the old point is you trying to tell this monster to oh. attack people. <laughs> that game's cool. You know I mean, I like the I, I like the graphics. I like the storybook style and everything. It looks cute. It's very pretty to look at. I like looking at it. it gives me um, you know, Kami vibes, but like less of a different oh, style. Yeah. Cause like this is going for more like book style, while Kami went for the, you know, I think it was Chinese. A Jap Japanese, Japanese uh paintings. I was, yeah, the Japanese like old oil, oil paintings. paintings. Mm -hmm. That's what I was like, well, that just reminded me that there's a. There's an Okami game that they haven't actually treated with the same respect as they did the original Okami. Okami Den is still on the DS. <laughs> yep, they just threw it away because it was Okami Den, and they're like, "Ew, DS." Ew. All right, so then, and then they announced Splatoon 3 DLC, where they just went into the files of the Wii U game and decided to port it over. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't actually know if it's exactly one for one Inkopolis from the Wii U. Yeah, that's yeah, basically just Inkopolis. I, I don't want to say that, and then like some hardcore Splatoon fan is like, No, you're wrong, Zero, they actually because, <laughs> because I saw a video of someone showing that the front of the, um, the, the Salmon Run place is not the same as the inside. Like, there's stairs going down in the, in the, in the third game, there's stairs going down into the place. And then, like, in Inkopolis, you can see inside of the, the store before you walk in, so it's, like, really odd <laughs> and not good. Okay, well, yeah. Hello. They, they, they basically just took the Splatoon 1, the, the fucking Inkopolis, and break, brought it back. You can now just use this as your hub instead of the Splatoon 3 hub. <laughs> uh, like, it has all yeah. the shit that you need. So, um, yeah, if you just really didn't like Splatoon 3's characters or the hub, there you go. You can have... Let's do one I also saw back. people, I saw people <laughs> complaining. I saw people complaining and getting upset because Kelly and Marie don't do the news announcements in the Inkopolis. <laughs> that would require effort. <laughs> they don't have. They, lore wise, they aren't popular anymore. That <laughs> too. Lore wise, what do you mean? They're, lore wise, they're agents. They're supposed to be secret agents. They're undercover. Lore wise, that, that's they were, they were why. That's why. Agents. That's why everyone. That's why every Splatoon game they move to like a different place. It's because like the celebrities of the last game nobody cares anymore, and they get new celebrities. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's true necessarily. That that's like the joke when they meet Callie and Marie in Splatoon Two is that you don't know who the Squid Sisters are because nobody knows who the Squid well, Sisters are anymore. Maybe, I, I guess it's because the Squid Sisters are really popular in Ninkopolis. 
Well, like, it's just that Inkopolis well, stopped being a popular place in general. That's why everyone's in like what's it, Splatoon 2's Inkopolis Square, I want to say. Uh, no, I don't know. They were it, it, whatever. It's it. It really <laughs> feels like they did just rip it from the Wii U because even like Callie Marie's models look like they're like dancing looks Pretty very sure. stilted compared to like the dancing that like <laughs> the Splatoon 3 idols do. <laughs> I'm like, pretty sure they just yeah, like the, the animations, you could tell it's like, damn, this really was on the Wii U, huh? <laughs> mm. Like their their animations are so much more stilted compared to like the dancing that the Splatoon three people do. Uh, yeah, I really, can't believe that like, the third uh, participant in Splatfest is the giant zapfish, though. That's funny. <laughs> he might be. Here uh -huh. he comes. So, yeah, that's uh. Oh. That's there. oh, then they announced Story DLC gets coming eventually. Agent Eight's back, oh, everyone. Are you excited? Yeah, oh, that's interesting. That, but that's Wave Two. That's the actual DLC. Wave One is yeah. out right now, Don't... and it's only in Goblin. <laughs> yeah. Want to play Two One again? You finally, can you can get in You never got to experience. It. <laughs> oh yeah, yay! I, I, I never got to experience in either. I guess. You now you get to experience it with a grand price of a thirty dollars. <laughs> Oh boy. Is it thirty dollars? I don't think yeah. you can. You buy them separately. I don't know if you can buy it separately. No, you, no, you have so. to. You have to buy it all together, and then you get them as they come out. Oh yeah, the grand, grand Come price on. of thirty dollars. Come on, Cam. <sighs> your, mon your, your, your money is for asking. for a s side story mode, and then. <laughs> oh my God. The side stories. I hope these are better while we're in. I don't understand why. I don't understand why they even gave us Inkopolis to begin with. I couldn't tell. It you. is a very random. I, I guess they just wanted it to be more than the side order. Maybe the side order is not long enough and they were like, we need something else. I feel like it was a case of the side order just wasn't done yet. <laughs> Throw something else out there. What do we got? Inkopolis? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I think it was just that it wasn't done yet, so they wanted to throw something in here. It's what it feels like, because this feels very much just here you go. But yeah. Is that, is that a squidling, as they're called, I believe? Uh, then they showed some Dis they showed some like Disney Rayman-esque game, which looks really, really slow and boring. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that's what we, it, it did look fun at first, but it like fun, and then I was like, "Why is everything so slow?" It's gonna feel baby mode. It's very is, pretty. It is extremely. It looks really nice visually, but it does not look very nice gameplay wise. This is very much this for babies. Is, this is a game you give to your children. Well, Why they don't even show that on the Nintendo Direct. No one's gonna care because bro, they got crazy. wall the jump. They got wall jumping. That's too advanced for children. <laughs> oh, like a round pound, that's it. I'm not gonna know about a wall jump. It's too scary. You know how many kids couldn't get past Chemical Plant and Sonic because they didn't realize they could spin dash? There's no way these kids are gonna figure out wall <laughs> jumps. That was, that was literally yeah. me, like, actually. I'll have you know, I didn't get stuck because I didn't know how to spin dash. I got stuck because of the water rising part. <laughs> 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 the spin dash wasn't the part that made me stuck as I I got did. stuck because I was stupid. No, I got I stuck at the how. part that was hard. I got stuck at the part with the water rising part. That part was actually hard. You gotta that like part take is your really time. Hard. And then I, I was like, I was under pressure. I was like, oh no. Sonic, don't <laughs> die. Please, no. That music does not help. Anyway, then Fire Emblem, they announced more Fire Emblem Engage DLC. Now I get to Everything complain. Everything about this game makes me angry. No, I get to complain about the DLC because I'm actually playing the game. I like the game. And for the, the characters they chose are fine. I'm glad with Hector. Hector works. I'm glad Hector's here. It's more interesting than sure. Ellie would. Just because we already have Roy. Soren's cool. I wasn't expecting Soren to show up, so I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool thing. I don't know why Camilla's here. <laughs> not only in every face. Not only is she bad in the game, she is one of the worst rings. She is worthless. She literally has one of Corin's skills. Like Corin already has one of the skills that she literally has. So not only that, but two, I don't even know why she's here. She's a fucking a route exclusive character. Why did they pick Camilla? <laughs> like, she's not even in Birthright. Well, she is in Birthright, but you can't even use her because she's an enemy. So I'm like, why? Why did they pick Camilla? Why didn't they just pick Azura? Would have been way better. Would have been way more interesting. 
I should have picked the maid just to be funny. Yeah, or if I would have taken Felicia. <laughs> I would have taken Felicia. Fe Felicia would have been more interesting. This bitch's name is Felicia. There's a character named Felicia. No, she's her maid. There's a Felicia named Felicia. Yeah. Yes, she's like she's like the clumsy maid archetype. The clumsy maid. And she's all like, looks like we've got trouble. That's oh. awful. Oh, she's great. I love her. Don't be mean. And confirm they... Crom and Robin are gay. Yeah. <laughs> they should have. They should have <laughs> no, put in the. They're uh, already gay. They should have. They should have put in the like the dead wife of that one guy. Wave th uh, wave three is coming soon, where it announces Crom and Robin will be sharing a ring because of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Veronica from Fire Emblem Heroes, the mobile game, will be a character as well. And her ability is that she can summon characters like the mobile game. <laughs> I'm not mm -hmm. sure how this will work. They just showed this, but didn't actually show. What happens next after she does it? So I am curious to see how the fuck that works. Also, how's this bitch pulling a five star Ike? What the fuck <laughs> kind of RNG is this, bro? I don't be pulling five well, star. That's Ikes. her skills. It's RNG. <laughs> bro, I'm fucking. If that's her skills, I'm gonna be pulling three stars and I'll be like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> My luck has followed me. Uh, then it's wave just like heroes. And wave four has announced that we're a, a fucking a full ass uh, Xenolog. Which is a full ass other story. So I am curious for that one. Basically, they announced a lot of DLC for this game. <laughs> like, it's already up to wave four. <laughs> oh my god. This game's getting a lot of DLC, which is fine. I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. The combat is actually really fun. Alier. I actually do like the gameplay. So I, I, I'm, I'm excited for more DLC. Uh, they showed take, <gasps> they showed harmony. I don't know what this. I, I, I don't know. It, it, it looks the like fall a game. of reverie. It's some sort of visual novel esque game. It seems. Yeah. So. It takes place in cyberpunk and life is strange at the same time. No. <laughs> Octopath Traveler two. <laughs> Who let them make another one? <laughs> another one. Let, another one. Who let them do this? <laughs> They're not allowed. Hope to this, do this one's better. Every time I see Octopath Traveler, it just looks like the same exact game every single time. Well, I mean, there's only two of them. <laughs> I've seen that game like eight times. Eight no, different there's, times. No, there's, there's, they're all different games. Yeah, they, uh, they think you're just looking at the style, because there's also a Dragon Quest remake that's in this exact same style. Like, visual what style. The there's, also live, there's also Live Alive and live Triangle alive. Strategy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I do Please. like the visual style. It looks nice. It's just they're definitely overusing Please. it. <laughs> Please give them something else to use. Yeah, they are definitely overusing it. A Katamari, I think, is this another? It's another remake, right? Isn't this a remake of the it's second Katamari? It's another remake, game? yes. Yeah, we, yeah, we love, love Katamari. Katamari. And so they're remaking another Katamari game. I mean, that's nice. Katamari looks like a nice game. Still never played it. Still need to. <laughs> So. What even is this gameplay? I, I, every time I see Katamari, I get confused. I, same, but apparently it's people say it's amazing and they love it, so. It's, I guess it's just a, a, a satisfaction game. Like, you just, you roll around and you pick up stuff. Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. Uh, then they showed Sea of Stars. It looks interesting, I guess. It's RPG. The hell? Not much to Oh, it's this game. One. Yeah. They showed this, uh, <laughs> bad <laughs> air hockey game that Cam has played. <laughs> yeah, me, me still tried it. It's really, it's... It's less fun than it looks, which is already saying something. Less fun than it looks. I was even looking at it, and I was like, this doesn't look that fun. This looks really boring. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like really boring air hockey. And it it's is. It's like they took, it took the, they took the worst parts of, like, League of Legends and Rocket League and then put those together with each other. <laughs> they took it is, it's not fun. <laughs> they took the worst parts of bad games. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of these games so then, much. Then they announced the uh, Eldrin Odyssey is getting an HD fucking remake in collections, which I've never played Eldrin Odyssey. So, but I did hear uh, uh, a lot of people do like it. Yes, it's Persona Q, but for real. It's what Persona Q comes from, basically. Yeah, because look, the there's origins. the map system. <laughs> I remember the map system. You gotta draw your own map. It's such a weird concept a weird that, to base concept. your game around. <laughs> Draw your own map, bug. Do it or you'll die. <laughs> oh boy. They didn't show yeah. off the DLC here where like the Persona characters yeah, were Yeah, they it. didn't show off the DLC in this one, which I... Once again, Nintendo announcing shit like, you know, after it's over. Because yeah, because Eldrin Odyssey has DLC for each individual game. 
coming with other Atlas properties. Yes, yes, yes. Like Soul Hackers like and Soul Hackers so and Shimagami Tensai. And Persona. <laughs> Hold the fuck. And if they could show, why are they only showing? Okay, oh yeah. So for, for uh, but oh, the weirdest part is this DLC only works for certain games. So like for yes. example, Eldrin Odyssey One, you get Joker and Ringo. For the second game, you get Teddy and Demi Fiend because you can't have one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> And get for, him out of there. And for the <laughs> third one, you have Nahobino and Igis. For the third it's game. not even it's not even all of the mascots. Why is Joker here if Teddy and Igis are? <laughs> I'm, 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 because they didn't want more gone. <laughs> They, but they put in Teddy? <laughs> that is a fair point. I don't think any, I was like, I wouldn't want Teddy either. <laughs> they could have put like they could have put Joker and then they could have put you. And, and then I get, I, but then it would be weird that I guess is here. No, but Kodo's dead. <laughs> <laughs> this canonically takes place after Persona no, 3. So he's not, what do you mean? She's representing the answer. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Of course. She's representing the answer, but they could have added female MC to represent the Persona 3 portable boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't even know why. I, I just I just don't know why Demi feeds here. He doesn't want to be here. Neither does the Nahobino. <laughs> Ringo is also similarly confused, but all, because she's not from Shimagami or Persona. <laughs> I, I understand they wanted to do Atlas characters and didn't just want to do Persona again. But it's like, why are there three Persona characters? <laughs> there are. There should have been more the series. Yeah, there should have been like one Persona, one like. Yeah. Devil Survivor carrot. I don't know anything. You've got so many series. Like, Atlas. clearly they didn't want to make it just all Persona, but then it's like you included a Persona character in every single set. So, like, you could have put fucking the guy from Catherine. <laughs> Vincent being a character yeah, would be funny. Oh, please. There. You could have put fucking, I don't know, what other crap does Atlas yeah. own? The guy from Dokkaban. The Devil Bond, Survivor. The king. Yeah, Doka, the king from Dokkaban. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hello, Rico man. Jr. Put oh Rico God. Jr. in. You got Roche in this Jr. game. Ain't no way. Roche mate forces you to do Rochambeau. It's <laughs> over different fucking stats. Yeah, all, all of his attacks are Rochambeau based. If you lose, you die. <laughs> it should have been the king so he can go. Hello there. Uh. Can we look up the voice actor for Welcome him? Welcome back. He, I feel no, like they got the thing. Wabbits. Oh shit, the Wabbits. Chat. The Wabbits. <laughs> The Wabbit showed over this one. Oh no! The Wabbit show and literally beat everyone's ass. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the DLC additions though. I, I like. <laughs> I, I, I will say, bless you. I like the whole idea of when oh, you yeah. por of porting over again. No, we're we're looking at the king later. <laughs> we're not doing that okay. during the fucking podcast. There's nothing to do with Dokapod. Why not? <laughs> oh, you can do it on your own time. Why are you telling me to do this? <laughs> Oh, fine, I'll you, do it. Fuck you. You literally have a computer. <laughs> I just noticed this. Like, why are you telling me to do this? Because I, I'm lazy. I do like the um, tradition of fucking porting over a game and at least adding some sort of new content instead of just being like, yeah, this is the game. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause I miss I, him already. Yeah, because fucking, well, Metopia did that. They added that new tower. It was like, what, the Tower of Dread, was it, or something? Yeah, it was, was like a no new tower, yeah. Yeah, because there was the oh. first tower, and then there was an entire other tower. And I was like, that's kind of cool. So, Damn, yeah. it's, like, it's like they care or something. It's like they care. Uh, Advance Wars finally exists! <laughs> <laughs> they brought it back, guys. Nintendo. Worst Fire Emblem. Oh, yeah. Finally, it, you know, Worst Fire Emblem is back! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We've just made every Advance Wars fan angry. <laughs> I mean, is that not an inaccurate statement? It's not as I deep system-wise, not as deep, deep story-wise. I never played Advance Wars, so I will be probably buying the remake so I can actually experience it, but... I'm not expecting much. <laughs> if you really like the tactical parts of Fire Emblem, you will really like Advance Wars. See, but I like the charm of Fire Emblem, and I don't think Advance Wars has that. <laughs> I mean, they have character portraits sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then they announced uh, an extra mode for Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe called, what was it, Magalar, yep. Magalar Epilogue, where we Magalore. get to... 
Why is it called an, why is it called epilogue? Does this mean this takes place after the events of Return to yes. Dreamland? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. After Magalore gets I destroyed. This is a prequel. Now he's... No. No, I assume it's that some like dumb thing where he like loses his memory and he's like gotta go on an adventure to find them. Okay, well then yeah, that's Curb Return to Dreamland is every deal like Deluxe is now out, so people have probably already played this and given their opinion. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought it because I don't want to pay sixty dollars for a game I've already played. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but Magalore. Return to Dreamland is good though. It's fun, and I mean, if it was an older game and it's been like such a long time, then maybe. Or you know, if it had the if it had you know online multiplayer, then maybe. <laughs> but it doesn't, so I don't really want to buy it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it on sale or something. Oh my god, he's got Spike's power. Yeah, it was That's like, yeah. funny. It, 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 the it, voice the actors for Dokapon Kingdom are uncredited? No one yeah, knows who fucked. they are! Get fucked. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Curve Return of Jubilee Deluxe is a thing. And then they showed off the Game Boy! Let's go! Y'all ready to play Tetris again on your Switch? <laughs> oh boy, the 90s, they never end. <laughs> And yeah, they finally added the Game Boy to the NSO. It took them, and I they, don't know how long, but finally. They made everyone worried by showing the original Game Boy version <laughs> oh, of yeah. all these games. Yeah. They showed the piss green, the, the piss, they showed the vomit green, and we were like, oh no. <laughs> Dear God, please stop. <laughs> yeah. And then they were like, don't worry, you can, right. you can change your filters or something. And you can change they had which it one for you want. so long, though, didn't they? They had the, the green they, for so they, long. They didn't even show Mario Land in color. <laughs> They only showed it in the green, and I'm like, who's playing Mario Land like this? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, this is how you'll play Mario. Actually, weirdly, they didn't. I don't think they added Mario Land One. They added Mario Land Two. They just skipped Mario Land One. Yeah, Mario Land One is not here. It is only Mario Land Two, so that's interesting, I guess. I mean, again, I mean, only people only care about Wario. Nobody cares about Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mario Land Two was a better Mario Land One, so. Mario Land 1 was like the equivalent of Mario 1, while Mario Land 2 is like the equivalent of Mario 3. <laughs> uh, Link's Awakening DX Whoa. is now here. That's that's actually a pretty good Zelda game. So, though It, it would is, be better if it didn't exist already on I was about uh, to say, Switch. though it is funny because <laughs> it is now on the same console as its remake. So, I mean, if you if you want to play the, the original, then there you go. I mean, I think that's cool, though, you know, being able to play the original game, you know, if they have a remake. Yeah. Though, I feel like it'd be more useful if it wasn't against, like, a one-by-one -one remake. Because, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure Link's <laughs> Awakening on the Switch is almost a one-by-one -one recreation yes, of this game. It is. Graphical it is, differences. It just looks prettier. So, I mean, like, if you really hate <laughs> yeah, why the do art you style. Be, yeah, why do you want to go back to this? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, they have Gargoyle's Quest. Yeah, two people got excited for that game. <laughs> <laughs> game and Watch Gallery Four, yeah. There was probably more people excited for Game Watch Gallery Three than Gargoyle Quest. <laughs> uh, Alone in the Dark. I forgot this even had a Game Boy game. Uh, Metroid Two: Samus Returns, because you know instead of porting over the 3DS remake of the game, they decided they're just gonna give us the Game Boy version and leave. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's whatever. Metroid fans, there you go. Wario Land 3! <laughs> I forgot they gave us Wario Land 3. Uh, oh, yeah. And Kirby's Dream Land. Gotta have mm -hmm. Kirby. <laughs> it would not be a game. Wario Land 3 is Kirby. like. People is like. Uh, I think like one of people's favorites. Yeah. Wario Land. I thought Wario Land 4 was the one everybody liked. Uh, depends. It's between those two, three and four. Mm. So yeah, but then they finally were like, you could also play the Game Boy Color. It's like, oh, I can actually play the games now instead of playing oh, whatever thank the fuck God. this was. <laughs> thank you. There's oh, also no, so online. They get it. Online for Tetris on Game Boy, but sadly not for Kirby. <laughs> well, Kirby, did Kirby have, on, have local pl uh, play on the fucking Game Boy? I meant for Boy? Dreamland. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Fucking, yeah. We have it on the NSO, yeah. but God forbid return to Dreamland, yeah. get it. <laughs> Oh At least I can play Game Boy Tetris against my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, then they announced the games that were coming, which are a lot of the ones you expected. The Oracle games, uh, Pokemon TCG, the one I don't think anybody was expecting. <laughs> I was Temple. not expecting that. I Oh my god, I kind of want to get that one. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm. Everyone's like, "Oh, Game Boys, so they're gonna have Pokemon, right?" And they're like, "Yep, 
Pokemon no. TCG. <laughs> yeah, your favorite Pokemon game. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> why? 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 A Kirby Tilt and Tumble. How the How fuck is that going to work? Because <laughs> like, you have to... Yeah, you, 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 you need have... the cartridge for, like, the... Are they going to add motion <laughs> controls to it? I mean, they've done that to some of the NSO games. They've actually like, added certain things to make them work. So, like, are they going to add motion controls to Tilt and Tumble? Or, or I am so. I going to have to pick up my Nintendo Switch <laughs> and move it back and forth to get oh, the real God. experience? This game can only be played in handheld mode. Fine. <laughs> That's the real experience. <laughs> That's the real experience, please. Oh, so, and then GBA. So yeah, games. yeah. So yeah, one thing they did, they didn't, I think, really fully mention is that the Game Boy is actually a part of the regular plan of the NSO. They finally gave the regular people something again. <laughs> and they, they did not mention that because they mentioned I was it at confused. The very end. Yeah, it was the very in, end. Like, in info. It was in like an infographic, and it was like, well, yeah. I didn't get to read that. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, because they were like, regular, everybody will get Game Boy. And then they were like, oh, Nintendo finally being nice to the people who don't have the expansion pack. They're like, there are your expansion pack people here. You can have GBA. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Nintendo just said, fuck you. They get this. <laughs> you get the best Zelda game. Yeah, so, you know, I'm probably going to keep my subscription to the expansion pass. <laughs> <laughs> they only gave us okay, four. Well, they, they they only gave us okay. four games though. They did promise more GBA games than they did regular Game Boy games. They have better starting GBA games than they do better starting Game Boy games though. <laughs> yeah, it's just because the GBA was better. Yeah, because like they have they gave us Minish Cap. And Mario Advance 4, which at first Four. seems worthless because we have Mario 3 on the NES one, but then you remember this comes at the e-reader levels, so... <laughs> Invalidates Mario 3. Yeah. <laughs> uh, WarioWare Mega Micro Games. Fucking... I don't oh, that's gonna have multiplayer online, I just really... <laughs> don't want fucking Mega Micro Games? Yeah, you can play your, like, friends in Mega Micro Games. I'm pretty sure it has multiplayer. I, I, does it? I didn't know that. Uh, and Kuru and Kuru Kuru Kurin, you know the assist oh. trophy from Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is like, this is the game all the funny VTubers play. Uh, I, 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 I just know. I, why did they add Mario Kart Super Circuit? <laughs> you have <laughs> Mario Kart Eight, <laughs> Mario Kart sixty four, Super Mario Kart on the SNES one. Who the fuck is playing Super <laughs> Circuit? <laughs> We're just missing like. Fucking Mario Kart Wii and DS at this point. Yeah. Like, like, why? It is Mario Kart Super Circuit's whole existence was just to be a watered down version of Mario Kart 64. So why is it here on the same console as Mario Kart 64? <laughs> so you can play it online with your friends. <laughs> and it's not as nice like Mario Kart DS where it has Rob. <laughs> like fucking. Oh yeah, Mario and Luigi. Oh yeah, then they added Mario and Luigi as another big one. Oh no! Ah! I clicked the wrong thing! Yeah, then they added Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which oh, no. is actually a really big one that they added. That, that's actually, <laughs> that's, that's a, a pretty good game. That, that's, a, that's a banger pick right there. They added an actual game to this service. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, <laughs> okay, Mr. I guess you don't like Minish Cap anymore. <laughs> I love Minish Cap. I actually need to play it. I think that was the one made by Capcom, wasn't it? It is, yes. I wonder it was so good. <laughs> Like, yeah. Capcom can make other games, guys. <laughs> Capcom's really good when they act when they try. <laughs> That's what we Only learned. Konami would try. So, yeah, and then they were like, you can play together, look, they're online. We are not playing Mario Kart Super Circuit <laughs> online. <laughs> we can play any Marine other Real Mario Super Kart Street. game. Damn, I swear to God, I will smack you if you fucking invite me to Mario Kart <laughs> Super Circuit. <laughs> it's gonna be like, pending Nintendo Switch invite, Cam to G, Mario Kart <laughs> Super Circuit. Oh boy. Come on, we gotta play. But then, then, the biggest announcement, they showed the games that were coming, and they got Kirby in the Amazing Mirror, they baby. Amazing Let's Mirror. Let's go, they knew. Detroit Fusion. Oh, that too, actually. People can finally find out what F-Zero actually is. Oh yeah, that was funny. Oh my <laughs> god, that, yeah, F Zero's first mention in like a decade. Fucking, but all I'm saying, I'm just happy that they put fucking Amazing Mirror. That means we can play Amazing Mirror online finally. You can actually function without having to get a bunch of link cables. 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> like, that game goes from like a, a couple day long like binge fest to now like a, a single day like speed run. Yeah, because now everybody can actually split up and actually do things. <laughs> <It's> actually, <laughs> instead of you just going all around. But honestly, the lineup is really strong though. Like Metroid Fusion is like one of the best game, game Boy, one of the best Metroid games in general. I fucking loved Fusion. Fusion was fucking good. Uh, Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem game. It was a like Fire Emblem Seven, which is a really good Fire Emblem. You got F Zero Maximum Velocity. Never played it. It's probably good. <laughs> uh, oh, Gold and, uh, Golden, Golden, Golden Sun. Golden, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never played Golden Sun, but I've heard a lot I, of this people is, love Golden Sun. I don't understand. I do not understand why I own this game as a kid. <laughs> When I've never played like RPG game, but I remember playing Golden Sun and I actually fucking loved it. Okay, it's a very Cam simple RPG. RPG. And it's... All, all, all I'm saying is, they they got the Game Boy and a Soul, hands and a Soul, Mother Three's over there. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying that's is that's the like, E3 announcement. Is Mother Three? That, that will be the E3. That that will be the day where people. <laughs> that's the day when the expansion pass purchases. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, the very high skyrocket. Yeah, oh my god, Mother stop. Three! <laughs> they did it. They added Mother Three. It exists. <laughs> and they have to like. They have to like give it like a T rating or something because look, of, yeah, because look, of the all, themes of the game. All, all they have to do is do what Disney Plus does at the beginning of all their old shows. They put like, oh yeah, these, these themes aren't represented. <laughs> there are some strong dated themes in this. They're not represented <laughs> of us now. <laughs> That's all they have to do. <laughs> Throw that screenshot in time. front of it and you're good. Yeah, that's all they have to do, bro. I, I do wonder if they were to do Mother 3. <laughs> I'm assuming it would actually also, the translation might be slightly different because it wouldn't be exactly it would the be, main yeah, translation. It'd be an entirely different translation. That would be interesting. But yeah, they showed that Game Boy Advance and Game Boy would be a part of the expansion pack. And regular Game Boy would okay. be a part of regular NSO they showed afterwards. So it was like, I totally oh. forgot that there was Sega Genesis online too. Yeah, it's just huh. they, they haven't added any like real games to it in a, in a while. Like, they're, they're, so they, I think they already added all the ones that mattered. <laughs> Golden. Besides, besides Sonic Three, <laughs> Sonic Two is the only one there. <laughs> I mean, we got Sonic Three on Origins, good enough, I guess. I guess, yeah. We also got better Sonic 2 on Origins, so it's like, <laughs> why, is, <laughs> why is that there? Yeah, you don't want to buy Sonic Origins. <laughs> anyway, uh, they released that. Oh, then they just randomly announced that Metroid Prime was getting a remaster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they released hey guys, it after the, the Direct. <laughs> hey, guys, we haven't uh, finished 4 yet. Here's the first one. <laughs> but then, no, but then it like isn't even like a remaster. It's like almost a full ass remake with like how good the graphics look. <laughs> this is like this is like a retexturing entirely. Yeah, like what the fuck? When did they just do this? Like and then like they were just I don't know, man. I'm telling you, like Nintendo does a lot for Metroid recently. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they must have had all of these like textures and like their original high qualities lying around. They were just like, we can just put them in now, huh? We don't have to wait like <laughs> crush it for like the GameCube or the Wii. It's so weird because like like I said, it's like they feel like they put more effort into Metroid because like Metroid Dread was randomly announced and that was fucking amazing. Prime Remastered was randomly announced and that was really good. Fucking like they just seem to really care about Metroid. While just makes not me caring about F Zero, <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable. It makes, me, it makes me scared because they're just gonna suddenly drop Metroid again, and I'm, I, I don't think Metroid fans can take another another. Well, long, they're having a manic episode about Metroid. <laughs> I, I don't know if they will, because Dread sold extremely well, which is why I think might might be one of the reasons why they did this for uh Dude. why they did this for Prime. Do they even put Metroid in like those little like images of like all their series they have a lot of no. the time like that? <laughs> Like it's, it's never there. At first, I was going to say because it's second party, but no, I'm pretty sure Metroid is first party. No, oh, it's it's Nintendo it developed, yeah. I get Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's for like Retro Studios, but that's like, I mean. Yeah, I was say, Metroid is still first. It was, you just start off as a first party series, so. I mean, to be fair, they don't show Donkey Kong in those either. <laughs> that is very true. I. I did not realize that Donkey <laughs> Kong they, is they, never there. They always show Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, and Animal Crossing. Because Animal the Crossing Switch, has sold 41 million uh, copies still. 
Switch Switch has been good for these games, that series that like almost no one plays. Pikmin, I'm pretty sure Pikmin 3 Deluxe outsold the entire series. <laughs> all I'm saying <laughs> is, about right. all I'm saying is, Nintendo, when you bring back series, it seems that people buy them. Captain yeah. Falcon is dying. <laughs> <laughs> or even Star yeah, Fox, Hogan. do something with them. <laughs> No, no, no. They they know they can't bring back Star Fox because people will just be like, why'd you bring this back? It's just Kid Icarus, but worse. And then they'll be like, aww. <laughs> the poor Kid Icarus, Aww, please. People hate us. The poor Kid Icarus, bro. Uh, then they showed y'all. off the Danganronpa game. game this is like, legitimately Danganronpa, yeah. Yeah, I have nothing to say it, about this because I haven't played Danganronpa. It's written by the same guy. It has the same sort of aesthetic, and it's probably as bad. <laughs> <laughs> In case you didn't know, Bug hates Danganronpa. <laughs> That's not true. I hate the first two, and the second, third one's mediocre. <laughs> That's not true. I hate the first two. Well, then, so it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. Sorry. There's, like, five games, because two of them are, like, spinoffs. Yeah, Ultra Despair Girls, Bug. How do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, there's teenage girls getting upskirted a lot, so it's not very good. Okay. Wow. Anyway, Baton Kato, two HD remastered. <laughs> Never played this game. This so. is a series apparently people really love. I I did not know that until I met someone who was vo- so vocally excited. No, was, well, it, <laughs> it looks like one of those series that like a few people would fucking like be amazed with. So. That's well, the like, more tame part of the game. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, there's Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. I forgot this game was even here. Uh, <laughs> this looks like Happy Wars from like Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as it's not as frantic though, or sporadic. Yeah. But yeah. You know, it's Animal Crossing. Life is what you I make. I wish they just make Happy Wars again. Uh, then they God. showed up. Oh, I then just... Professor Layton just showed up oh, yeah. in his yeah. fucking... Yeah, Professor yeah. Layton cool, cool turning around fucking... like he's the slickest cool, motherfucker around. Coldest ass <laughs> man, bro. Coldest motherfucker in fucking... Like, who is this, bro? Like, man, man's walking and is like, you know it's me, bitch. <laughs> like, look at this man. <laughs> I no introduction. I don't, I don't have any idea who that who Professor Layton is, so I literally stood there like, "Who the fuck are you?" The Hi. new world of Steam. A new it mystery in... will begin. Ten years since the last new Professor Layton game. He's also only so been on probably. portable consoles to uh, on portables, so this will be the first time yes. he's on a home console. Oh yeah, hold on. I want to point out now that that level five is making this game. Level five is making like five other games. Yeah, in this story. yeah. They're, 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 they're making the like all games, Bro. all the games here. I don't know what's they're going kinda on. They're kind of popping off. <laughs> they're cooking. Uh, they must be just extremely bored. They're like, "Fuck it, Professor Layton." I guess he's coming. <laughs> oh yeah, ass. hold on. The best, the best course in Mario Kart. They actually the announced. Way, they actually uh, announced they're uh, making a new course. <laughs> the only, the only way a game like that can, can exist is when the company is literally don't doesn't have anything to work on right now so they, they, <sighs> they grab a random little series that kind of did well all i'm saying is why did it take mario kart until four waves to actually make an original track <laughs> for this deal <laughs> <Maybe? laughs> This is the first actual new track for this DLC. Every other track was taken from Tor or another map. I'm pretty sure this is the first actual original track. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> it is. I mean, it's a good track. Because I'm pretty sure Ninja Hideaway was also in Tor. I was so... fully convinced that they were just going to be taking courses from other games yeah. this whole time that they were not planning on making any new also courses. also why did it take us eight mario cards to get an actual yoshi's island stage to begin with <laughs> like i just noticed I'm pretty sure this is the first oh, yeah. yoshi's island stage i don't think we ever it got is, any yeah. other course that was based on yoshi's island besides oh, that yoshi yeah. shaped yoshi yeah yeah i was trying to, I was trying to think through it i don't think yeah, that's like Yoshi Circuit. That's not really yeah. Yoshi Island thing. Like, this is the first one actually based around Yoshi's Island. And also, um, so that I was proven wrong. They actually did finally add a new character into this DLC. It's Birdo. <laughs> Birdo! Yay! I love Birdo. I cannot wait. Actually, I, can, I, I forgot. To- I, to cam first I, for, I forgot <laughs> I forgot they even I forgot they even announced I forgot they even fucking 
And I forgot Birdo was the other character added into Double Dash. I keep thinking Double Dash was the one that introduced Toadette, but I forgot it was introduced Toadette and Birdo. And Birdo, yeah. Well, kind of. One of the of. best characters I, I in get, the Mario Well, franchise. actually, kind of. Technically, Birdo was introduced in Mario 2, the fake Mario 2, and then was added back in Double Dash, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... I, they were more like they were remade for, for Mario Kart. Double I was about to say, is it is it the same? Because Birdo didn't look exactly the same. The same. It looked slightly different. Birdo looked slightly different in Mario too. So yeah, Birdo can also be different colors, as you like Yoshi can. This is disgusting. Yeah, actually. I love I love that because like you don't really get to do that in other in other. Wait, I, was say, I don't think I've. Birdo. Oh my god, I figured out why I don't like Birdo. Because it's a big mouth. No, no, no! It looks like that that Sesame Street alien. Oh my oh god! My I god. figured out why I don't <laughs> like Birdo. <laughs> Aliens. Oh my see, god! I was, see, I was never <laughs> scared of that. <laughs> those, <laughs> those little <laughs> weird <laughs> mouth. No, no, not these guys. They're those little those circular Muppets. Yeah, I know Muppet what you're talking. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Things. What were they? I what were they called? Yeah, I, I don't mean, know what they were called. Oh Muppets. my god. Oh, where are they? No! Were they aliens? Uh, they sung... No, no they weren't these. aliens. They they sung with, like, the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Muppet singers? They were... I don't think they had names. They just sung Menomina. There they are! There they are! There it is! The, the snow... <laughs> the snow... The snow... <laughs> the snow uh, there the they snow are! Ew! No, this God, is why I don't like Birdo. So this is just ugly. Birdo. <laughs> what oh the my fuck? God. This is literally I, I Birdo. I thought you were talking about something else. No, I thought you were talking about something no, else. No, these are Birdo. This is Birdo. This is why I don't I, like I, Birdo. I can't believe I never put two and two together. I to never think did either. And I'm like, this is why I don't <laughs> like Birdo. It is very accurate. It is very similar. It's so <laughs> nasty. Like, it is the same exact okay, design. okay. You just gotta make... You just gotta make Birdo a different color. Also, I don't like Birdo's snout. noises. They're not appealing. She's like, wow. <laughs> Look at Yoshi. Yoshi's like, what the fuck is this bitch doing here? <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't think Yoshi's Birdo was made love. to sexually appeal to you. Yoshi's upset that <laughs> Birdo is here. <laughs> No, Yoshi's Yoshi's in love with Birdo. No, Ow. no, that was never True. confirmed. That is just he just that was just a care. partner in Double Dash. He is not confirmed. I Yo Yoshi, don't care. They can't intermingle the species. They are. Yo no, Yoshi I think Birdo is like a light. <laughs> like oh, no. no, 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 no. Like, he does not. Like We're not I doing this said, for Yoshi. Like I have <gasps> said before, it's Birdo. Birdo, Birdo is a subspecies of Yoshi. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> you have no source. I don't have a source, but look Your at look at the anatomy. I made it the fuck up. <laughs> Monica, My source. Monica, Monica, Yoshi's a, a Koopa subspecies. Yeah, That's what Yoshi's he is. a Koopa subspecies. So, and Birdo is has to be okay. related to a Koopa. Birdo's aren't. Okay, so so then Birdo is a mutation of Yoshi. No, Birdo's just weird. You know what Birdo is? Birdo's from the fucking game that they stole. <laughs> that Nintendo <laughs> stole from Doki Doki Panic. Birdo's not even supposed to be here. <laughs> well, she's here now, isn't she? It's all like Birdo's a fucking character Nintendo stole from the fucking from the game that Mario 2 was based off of. I love Birdo. She's so Birdo cute. Birdo sucks. Should have added Diddy Kong. No. Anyway. Is he not in the game? In. No. Diddy he's Kong's not. in the game. No! Yes, it's is? only Donkey Kong! What? Are you sure? Yes! There is no I'm other not. fucking on. Donkey Kong character. It is only Donkey Kong. Hold on. Well, the Wait, in what Kong? game? In Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8, 8, there is no other Donkey Kong character. There's only Donkey Kong. I'm pretty sure Are it's only... There, uh... Diddy Kong is not in that game. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. I think it's I think it's only Donkey Kong. Yeah, it is only Donkey Kong. That's why I'm mad. They <laughs> 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 replaced Diddy Kong with this fucking freak. <laughs> Yeah, they they did. There's no Diddy Kong. Yeah. Or Funky Kong. There's yeah. Okay. I thought there was at least Funky Kong. That's weird. I thought there was at least Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's in all of them. Bro, guys, look at all the Not different. All of them, but the other ones. Look at all the different Shut up. colors. Shut up! I don't care. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. They, showed, one? they showed Minecraft and a lot of other games that are already here. <laughs> wow, well, real... Fox game. Yeah. Oh my God, uh, all movie. eight Mega Man uh, yeah. Battle Network games. That game, that collection's already out. I don't know why they're talking about it. all these games were out, like Disney Starlight Valley. Yeah. Symphonia remixed. Yeah. 
And then we finally capped it off with Breath of the Wild 2. My and heart. We got to see more gameplay where... Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> where... <laughs> we got to see more gameplay of Breath of the Wild 2. We got to hear Ganon speak. That True. was wild. We're not gonna leave over high rule. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure people are saying is Matthew Mercer. I don't think it's been confirmed yet, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> but everyone's saying it's Matthew Mercer, and it sounds like Matthew Mercer. So I could believe it being Matthew Mercer. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely. I know. I saw some people complain when they looked at this, and they said it just looks like Breath of the Wild one, and it's like, well, yeah. It's a sequel. <laughs> like, yeah. that's, that's what sequels do. <laughs> also, yeah. And also, to be fair, it's something where it's like, I'm fine with just more Breath of the Wild one. I don't fucking know what anyone else wanted. Like, all I needed is more Breath of the Wild one. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be just. It's like it's gonna be look like it's gonna look the same. The aesthetic is gonna look the same, but just have new gameplay mechanics and new. Uh, that's that's like what it is. I don't yeah. I don't know, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what, what people expected a sequel expecting. to be, but this, this is this is just Breath of the Wild one because this is what Breath of the Wild is supposed to be. I can't believe they stole Link's mechanical motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> but also, there is another thing that was shown. They show like Link going to go grab Zelda, and then she falls. And so I have the theory, Zelda's fucking dead. <laughs> I, I, she might be, and it's really upsetting. I'm pretty sure my theory is that Zelda is dead. <laughs> there's too, there's too many because she, she, things she, pointing towards they that. They show her as like a little like they show like her hand when Link reaches out to hold the hand. It shows her hand as like a spiritually figure. It shows oh. him try to reach for her, and that hand is the hand that gets fucked up. They, fucking Nomura said that Tears of the Kingdom would be a title that would kind of spoil something. Tears of the Kingdom could also oh be seen God. as their princess dying. I'm pretty sure Zelda is dead in this game. There's too many things pointing towards that. Like, I'm true. pretty sure the story about of this game the... is that Zelda's dead. What about the real tragedy here? It's that the Master Sword is fucked up and now Fee oh, yeah. is that stuck too. in a fucked up sword. Yeah. So yeah, something that wasn't shown in the trailer but was later shown on Nintendo's Twitter account is that the map it's just, in the logo is oh it is in the logo but they got they showed us a full model of it they showed us a full model of what the master sword is gonna look like and uh yeah the master sword um i don't know <laughs> what happened <laughs> that's all it's sort of I feel evil like this is just another thing pointing towards Zelda not being say, like the master <laughs> Cam, that... Cam is Cam is distraught. He is going to cry. <laughs> like she's dead. My man. Fee, get out of there. <laughs> no, bug, I think Fee's dead. I don't know. She was there in the DLC. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm definitely I'm definitely thinking that the game's going to be about Zelda dying and Zelda like helping you from like the spirit realm or something. <laughs> like the same way that I the uh, king was able to talk to you in the beginning. I think she's going to like help you out and then, you know, if we have to accept if her she being actually, dead. If she actually is dead, I'm I'm gonna actually be sad. Like actually be sad. I mean that would be like that means the champion that means all the champions are dead but Link. <laughs> but does I, Zelda count as a champion? If you want to. Injured. Fine then. All the important people are dead but Link. <laughs> does that mean Link's gonna lead? This means she's with her dead. I mean I mean honestly, Good. if they were to have her dead, they'd probably bring her back at the end of the game or something. She oh, yeah, fight. just find the tri- just find the Triforce and yeah, wish her back. They, they might, like, bring find her back. Find the seven after. Triforces and wish her back. They might bring her back. But yeah, I don't know. Th that's just my whole little theory with it, because, again, it's like, that's the only way I can think of Tears of the Kingdom being a spoiler. That's what Nomura kept saying, at least. Nomura. Fucking mm -hmm. Alnuma. Called him Nomura earlier. <laughs> that's what uh, Alnuma yeah. kept saying was about the title. How they said they were going to wait a little bit because it was going to spoil a very important part of the game. Or the story. So, I don't know. I'm thinking Zelda's dead. <laughs> uh, I think Two and dead. a half more months. I think Tears of the Kingdom is actually a misnomer. I think it's called Tears of the Kingdom, and yeah. it refers to the way they, that they, the, they the world actually, is torn up. That was a question, and they, they, pronounced, they said that it is pronounced Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs>
Because I remember that one. <laughs> Do people actually yeah, think Yeah, because some people thought it was the Tears kingdom. of the Kingdom. Because they're like, <laughs> that's why <laughs> there's islands! Oh, it's a double God. entendre, Cam. You're too, you're too small brained for this. You guys, you guys <laughs> don't understand. There's symbolism. Link lost the hand that he reached out to fucking save Zelda with. He wasn't fast. He wasn't able to. He wasn't, wasn't fast enough to save my buddy. He wasn't fast enough to save his buddy. Bro, <laughs> so telling you, it's, alive. I'm telling you, it's symbolism, bro. It's symbolism. She's gonna be dead. Bro, he did say this game was gonna be darker too. That's all I gotta say. Oh my God. All I gotta say, mm. that it was gonna be darker. I'm voting for dead Zelda. I'm not. No, I'm I don't want to vote for that. I'm voting dead. I'm either. thinking dead Zelda. Look on the bright side, Cam. The Zelda you use in Smash isn't this Zelda. That is oh my true. God. The Zelda you use is a different Zelda. Yeah, she's also dead though. <laughs> <laughs> no, Link World Zelda isn't dead. Why do I want the Zelda's done? She's a Link to Zelda. She's not dead. Spirit Track Zelda. I meant from like. That is true. Well, she got brought back at the end too. Yeah. That, that, that's what I was like. I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that Zelda has died. But. We're not. We'll see. The game comes out, what, in May? So, A12. Yeah, so if you. you uh, oh, yeah. Not December 5th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As everybody have kept thinking, because they're like, the special edition's coming out December 5th, guy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> because of Europe, because that's how European dates look. Yeah. Oh. Although that doesn't really make sense either, because European dates include a leading zero when they, they don't just have like five, it would be zero five. I think people are smart. Kind of. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's your first mistake, right there. Yeah. Oh my god. Having faith in people. Reverse mistake. Yeah, it's like having faith in Game Freak, making a good game. Yeah. <laughs> but, they yeah. made Volt Man. Did they make Volt Man? I don't think they knew, they know they made Vault Man, but they did. 